Hello, hello. Welcome back to the vlog. I'm being weird. <laughs> um, I I feel like I can never get into like a good intro groove other than like, hey friends. So this is why I'm so awkward and weird. Today I wanted to do something a little bit different and show you my afternoon chores and uh, my evening feeding routine. Since we always do the morning routine, I thought we should do the evening routine. And because uh, I've been dealing with disease fetlock wounds, I have not done a whole lot of exciting riding stuff. So we're doing barn stuff. <laughs> So in the afternoon and evening, I tend to um, muck any stalls that I hadn't gotten to somehow earlier in the day, or I will also re-muck the horses that go out overnight. Um, I will re-muck their stalls after they go out. I, I have a couple students that come help after school, and I've put them in charge of picking the paddocks. Um, that's just one thing that I can let them do that takes that off my plate. So they muck the paddocks and typically do the hay outside and uh, move horses around for me. I'm gonna try to do most of that today myself, but if there seems to be pieces missing, um, they will show up at some point to help me out. I'm currently mucking the last couple of stalls that I didn't get to this morning before I bring horses in. And then while I do that, I'm also gonna fill the water tank so that I can fill water troughs. I'm actually gonna move Norman temporarily back down to what we call his prison paddock. It's kind of a long story, but Norman is a true one-of-a-kind Houdini escape artist when it comes to paddocks. I wish I could show you guys, but I haven't really documented anything very well with video. But he has escaped round pin panels, he has escaped escaped four board fencing honestly we need hot wire fencing here but I haven't had the time or money to work towards that um, I will put him out in a four board paddock this time of year when there's grass on the other side and he will and he will no joke like tangle his legs up destroy the paddock break fence boards in an hour like ridiculous he like completely cut up his leg last time I tried to put him out. So anyways, um, he has been in a stall up here and been going for like um, long walks as his turnout time. He can go out fine in the winter time when there's not grass on the other side of the fence, but he is a firm believer in the grass is always greener on the other side when it's summertime. He's staring at me talking about him. Anyways, so we um, had what I called the prison paddock with round pin panels up down in the paddock down below. If you've followed the vlog, you've probably seen him down there before. He broke out of the prison paddock, and um, but there's a stall down there, and I'm going to move him down there temporarily um, as I'm in this weird fall rotation of horses where um, my summer boarders haven't left yet for Florida, and... Um, I have a couple new um, clients moving in. So that was a long story to say that I need to go fill the water troughs. <laughs> so I use this like giant 100 gallon tank to fill the water troughs. I, uh, I need to fill the other water troughs today too, so I'm just gonna do all of them. Also, if you are a horse person and you've ever seen that meme of like the water trough overflowing because you forgot to set a timer, that is me and I do it almost every day and I'm gonna do everything in my power not to forget today. Anyways, let's get started on our chores. I'm gonna do some mucking, 
while the water tank is filling and get some grain ready. Obviously, as a barn manager, I do my best to multitask, so when I have to fill water troughs, I typically fill hay nets at the same time. So clients showed up and things got a little bit crazy, but I kind of jumped right into feeding horses so that I could feed and do turn out. So after I feed everybody, I start moving the horses around for turnout. Um, we're in that weird time period where um, in the daytime they can be in fly sheets, but at night they need some blanketing because um, it's a little bit chilly at night. So you'll see that the horses I'm bringing in are in fly sheets and the horses going out are in blankets and that's why. I'm refilling the water tank to fill the water trough down below for Norman. I tend to try to squeeze in beamer sessions during uh, morning and evening chores just because it's easy to leave a horse standing here while I'm doing things. So Mr. Doffy's getting his beamer session now. As horses are eating or right after dinner, I go ahead and dress them to go out, um, even though I have to run and pick paddocks after I fill the water. Hello. I have now let it overflow twice today. Goes to show you how good at this I am. My pal here has a catheter in right now for IV antibiotics because that's what we had to do for the wounds. I'm uh, just flushing it. I try to flush the catheter a couple times a day. Hi. I'll be completely honest with you guys, I have been bribing him with peppies because he's so tired of being medicated, the poor thing. I feel bad for him. Okay, I'm gonna go muck the paddocks real quick before I put the night turnout horses out.
Okay, so horses are fed, paddocks are mucked, the hay nets that need to be filled have been filled. Um, I'm gonna put horses out now and then I'll run through the rest of the routine with you guys. Um, really, I just need to like throw hay and put horses out and then I remuck the stalls and sweep the aisle. So we're getting close to being done. <laughs> Clearly it's time to get some new boots before winter hits. I was pretty tired from doing all of the chores, so I didn't really film like a uh, that's all goodbye. <laughs> um, but I hope you guys enjoyed my evening chores routine and I'll see you guys soon. Make sure if you enjoyed my videos, you like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. Thanks so much.